Hello, welcome back to Project Zomboid. I'm feeling kind of lazy today, so we're just gonna do like a regular old run. Nothing crazy, you know, just laid back. We're gonna play on Apocalypse on West Point. I'm just gonna use my preset character. All right, let's go. I'm not in the mood for anything crazy right now. So, we're just gonna kick it back, man. Relax. Maybe we'll talk about something. But for now, it's just gonna be me playing Project Zomboid how I normally would. Somebody banging on the window somewhere. Hello? Anyways, um, how are you guys doing? You guys feeling lazy too? We got the fog giving us a bit of protection. Digital watch. I enjoy making this, uh, this chill content. Cause, you know, there's, I could just relax, you know? Normally I'm not a very, like, crazily energetic person. Um, I kind of just like to chill when I play games, not too hardcore. Get in here. Come on. Alright, this is, um, yeah, this is going south pretty quick. I'm not really focused right now. Okay. I'm just gonna ignore that. You know what, maybe if I wanted to take it chill, I probably shouldn't have taken uh, West Point, but I need some kind of challenge. There goes our saucepan. And that's why we got that kitchen knife. We got a uh, auto manual. It's pretty good. I should have door flashed that, but you know. I love that zombie kill. So cool. Not to skill and light footed. And now I gotta figure out where I'm going. Locked. Window, oh window, how you have served me well. Pour out these beer bottles. Get something to drink. I have other games that I like to play. I don't know why, Project Zomboid is always just like that. That one game that I always come back to. Oh, we just got a duffel bag. It's pretty good. I play, uh, you know, Kenshi, Terraria. I play a lot of other games like that. This was like the first game that I ever got on my computer. Never regretted it. And I'd like to hear your guys' opinions on Project Soundboard. This van here. Let's see if it's got a key or something. No key. Uh, it's a map of Moldra. They all went over there for some reason. Don't know why. There's a few of them right here. I'll just call them over. Hello, fresh human meat right here. Just turn around this corner where nobody can see you. Baggy jeans. And man, my lips have been chapped like crazy. That's another level of sneaking. Coffee. 
Extra water bottle. Oh, it's in the bathroom. Oh well, they can stay in the bathroom. I don't know, if you guys like this like regular Project Zomboid content, then uh, just let me know. Antidepressant, since useful in the future. Bit more needle, or thread, bit more thread. I can't remember the houses we've voted. You know, I should get a real weapon. There's a couple of them. I'm gonna try and get a better look. Just around five of them. Oh, there's gonna be four in a second. Boom, baby. Oh my god. I always find it funny how when you kill one, another one shows up, and then another, and then another. My situational awareness isn't really that good. Oh, wow. This guy had a whole library, but with nothing useful in it. Okay, a crowbar. That's yeah, conditions not very good, but it's good enough. Now we're cooking. A chocolate bar. Leather gloves. Very nice. Shotgun. Yeah, I suppose I'll mark this on the map. Cooking magazine. Let's turn on the TV and turn off the radio because I don't want to listen to this. Get some exposure survival. We're learning about fishing. Cool. Ah, uh, just barely. Uh, there's a couple zombies right here for us to test our crowbar. Oh my god. I love this thing. Free broccoli. Why not? Deal with our peckishness. A book about carpentry. Something else we need to start doing is uh, watching the carpentry shows. Alright, we'll stay here for the night. Read up on our magazines. And then read up about carpentry. Alright, we'll go to bed now. Waking up at 4am. We'll toss in this exposure survival VHS. I'm gonna learn about living in the wild. That's a skill in farming. You can learn a lot from these TV shows. I think they only play for like the first week in game. We'll continue reading until six o'clock when the cooking show comes on. To maximize learning, we're going to read while we watch television. Learning about cooking and carpentry. That's a skill in cooking. That's enough TV for now. We'll have a can of chili for breakfast. Pretty large group. I do not really feel like dealing with a lot of zombies right now. As long as we get a handsaw, we'll be able to start with our base. Have I been here? No. Electronics magazine. Another metalworking magazine. Um, okay. I did not see that coming. Wow. All right, we'll just use the strat where you just call everybody around and lead them into the woods somewhere. And hopefully there will be a more manageable number. Yeah, that's, that's pretty manageable. Prepare for the endurance battle and more join the party. Okay. Maybe we should just go out to the mansions out this way. I'm thinking that's what we should do. Yeah, you know what? Let's go do that. I'm not waiting around. Oh my god, we're... there's a lot of good shit in there. Let's just keep going and we'll go find our base. I'm gonna eat this chocolate bar. I can't remember exactly where the mansions are. I'm just gonna keep walking in that general direction and hope I get to it. Down by the mansions as well, there's a cabin with a wood stove and a little spot you can fish at. It's really a, it's a wicked spot, man. I'll probably rest here for the day or something. Ambulance key. Who knows, maybe this ambulance will run and we'll have something to drive around. No, there's no gas. Maybe it's for the better. 
Yeah, I think that's everything we need. And on top of that, you know what I feel like making? I feel like making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Read a book or two. I suppose we should finish reading this carpentry novel. And that's going to give us a three times multiplier on our XP. All right, let's go to bed. 540, just before the cooking show comes on. For breakfast, we'll eat pickles, onions, and a grapefruit. Man, his breath probably stinks like ass. There's a car wreck right here with a wrench in it. Here we are, the mansions. Now this one here that we see with these big old fences, zombies cannot break through these. So the only way they can enter is through this front front bit here. So I'm going to clear this out, see if there's any loot in it. We're going to check the others as well. And we're going to hunker down and make this our home. I need a handsaw. There's a box of nails. There isn't a whole lot of loot in this place. It's kind of ass. Hey, but there's a fireplace. We could stay warm during the winter. We'll mark this as our home. Put a house here. And let's go check out the other ones. I'll take this leather jacket. A uh, hammer and a screwdriver. We'll eat some peanut butter to make ourselves happier. Oh, well, there's tons of winter clothes in here. Oh my god, I almost forgot. The carpentry show. Don't want to miss out on that. Now right, we just made it. Oh my god. Our XP just blew up we started at zero and we just shot up at level two that's awesome that home didn't really have what i was looking for some gardening stuff that's long-term food right there oh yeah there's a saw that's just what i needed oh and a crowbar in perfect condition oh yep that's why we door flash jesus that scared me <laughs> we'll lead them downstairs come on down everybody Oh, there were more. Damn. A lot of people in that little tiny bathroom. That's something I never understood with this game. Like, why is there so many in that little small bathroom? If somebody knows why, let me know. This is home. If you guys want to see me continue this chill Project Zomboid playthrough, please let me know. If we do do this another time, uh, I'll probably get the defenses up. For this home and prepare for the helicopter event but other than that i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll catch y'all later